This is Kawachi making what looks to be a crazy move here. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know what he's thinking, but... Maybe he's thinking of getting on camera. Yes, that's true. Um, somewhere, I would say, within 5K or maybe 10, somebody is going to hand this gentleman a piano to carry. This is too fast. It is three other people have decided, okay, let's just pick up this pace and not let it truly dawdle. His first full mile, just over 1,500 meters, in four minutes and 37 seconds. <laughs> Looks like Kawiuchi is coming back to the field. Evans Chibet has taken over. They have a seven second lead on the pack, does Evans Chibet and Kawauchi. We're down to an elite eight in effect, Al, and two or three others have just fallen off the pack a little bit. Kauchi falling back now. Uh, they may regain contact, some of the others who have fallen back, but right now our winner may come from this top group of eight. It looks like our friend Kauchi <laughs> is back up in the lead. Hey, James, he's back. <laughs> So he's made two surges at the front. The first one didn't stick. This one doesn't look like it's gonna stick either, but he is in front. But we got 14 men here, all the contenders. Interestingly, defending champion Jeffrey Karui is leading the race. For a fourth time, Kawauchi is out on a break. I'm just shaking my head. Now this, this is a guy in 2017 ran 12 marathons but it's just stunning to run marathons that often, have your body recover and still run a 209 marathon. And now the men's field is absolutely coming apart. That hill going over Route 128 was the first body blow that did the damage with Kawachi pushing the pace. And here as we just passed 17 miles in 126, 26 unofficially, Jeffrey Karui, defending champion, just puts his foot down and takes off. Karui buffeting the wind as lead now, it was 55 seconds, up to a minute and 27 seconds. And Yuki is just doing the job here. Karui's lead just slightly expanding, 35K into the race. So he's got 7K to go, 7,000 meters. And he's got a minute and a half lead on second place. Last we looked, Karui's lead was 131. And it's been that way for a while. Well, I'm not sure he's out of the woods yet, Al, to be honest. Although he still has a significant lead, he keeps looking over his shoulder. He did a very poor job in running the tangent. So I think Karui's working a lot harder than it may appear just from looking at his foot. And I think for the first time in a couple of miles, we can actually see the second place finisher down the road. Did Karui move too hard and too soon? Look at the closing that's going on with Yuki Kawauchi on Karui. Uh, this is like it's about 10 seconds now. And all Karui is doing is looking over his shoulder, looking over his shoulder. Kawauchi just now, as we were keeping an eye on Linda, took the lead from Karui. This is unbelievable. He showed us the cards he wanted to play in the very first mile. And look at the lead now in Kenmore Square. This is amazing. And Kawauchi just keeps pulling away. It looked like this was Joffrey Karui's locked up second in a row. I just never thought Karui was going to fade that easily with that fast when he did hit the wall. Physically, he looked great there, He though. did. He did. He raced and on New Year's Day, did Kawauchi in a marathon, and that was the 76th time that he broke two hours and 20 minutes. No human being has ever done that before. And here's Karui. He's at the head of the stretch, but way ahead of him is Yuki Kawauchi of Japan. Yuki Kawauchi is the 2018 Boston Marathon Champion. Talk about unlikely.